Hi and welcome to another one of my guitar instruction videos. I'm going to try something different. I want to start a new series where I teach just some of the some of the basic licks, classic licks by some of the greatest blues guitar players. I've been teaching some great electric blues instrumentals and I have a couple lessons on different licks and ideas but a lot of times I just like to listen to some of the great guitar players, Freddie King, Otis Rush, T-Bone Walker and others and, and try to learn some of their licks that I can pl put into my playing. And I think that's probably what most of you are trying to do too. So I thought it over a little bit and this makes it easier for me to put lessons together. And I'm just going to share with you, kind of off the cuff, some of the ideas that I've learned and some of the licks I've learned by listening to some of the old recordings and my favorite guitar players. I'm going to start out with the great T-Bone Walker. And T-Bone Walker was one of the first great single string blues guitar players, electric blues guitar players. He did lots of cool stuff, but I'm going to pick out some of my favorite T-Bone ideas and share them with you. You can take them and use them however you want. Let me start off the lesson by showing you one of the introductions that T-Bone uses used to his songs. This is from the song, a song called Love is a Gamble, and I always really like this. It sounds great, and it's relatively easy to play. Let me play it for you one time, and then I'll break it down. That's just a cool, cool way to start off a song. The chords here. Let's start out with the intro. I'm using a second position ninth chord shape. I'm going to show it to you on the C ninth and then I'll show you how it uses it in the introduction. Very simple chord. Basic. A lot of old electric blues stuff with this chord. You need to learn this one. First finger on the fourth string at the second fret. Second finger on the fifth string, third fret. That's my C note. This is going to be a C ninth. Then I'm taking my ring finger and flattening it out on the third fret. 1st, 2nd, and 3rd strings. That's a C ninth. Now I also will use that 2 frets up as a D ninth. So a lot of T-Bones progressions, if I was playing in G, I'd have a 1st position G ninth, which is my 1st finger on the 2nd fret of the 5th string, my 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the 4th string, my ring finger on the 3rd fret of the 4th string, Sorry, the second finger is on the second fret of the third string. Ring finger on the third fret of the fourth string. And my pinky is on the third fret of the second string. It's a G ninth. So in that whole song, if you listen to T-Bone's stuff, like Love is a Gamble, you hear the C, and you've got the D. Basically those three chords. Now the introduction I just showed you, we're going to start at the 5th fret. When I say the 5th fret, I mean where the root note is on the D ninth. And we're going to slide that down to the 10th fret. Just like that. And then we're going to just do a... Sorry. Just going to do a pick up on the 1st, 2nd, 3rd strings. Just like this. string too. So it's from the D ninth to a G ninth. This is a G ninth. There's a G. Then we're going to move it down two steps to the F ninth. Two more steps. So we wind up back at the D ninth. So that is the first run. Let's do that again. the exact same thing. We're going to put our chord in the exact same places, but this time we're going to use the pinky. And when I get down here to the G9, I'm putting my pinky on the 12th fret of the first string and bouncing up and down. That is a G13. Same thing. That is 
is a really cool T-Bone Walker introduction using the ninth chords. Now he does something similar in another song where he just plays the first part and goes right into the song like this. <laughs> of that a couple different ways to introduce a song and that is something that T-Bone was, was known for and I've heard Lowell Folsom and some other guys use something similar to lead off the song so that's my first T-Bone Walker trick and this is one you hear a lot and I'm gonna take it from a, an instrumental called Strolling with Bones and this is where I'm getting this exact version of the lick from and this is what you might hear in, in the plane of Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry got this from T-Bone Walker. The song is in B flat, and the lick goes like this. So the first part of that, that is a T-Bone Walker signature lick. He uses this all the time. And in B flat, I've got my first finger on the second string at the sixth fret. And then what I'm doing is taking my second and third fingers, putting them on the seventh and eighth frets. Now you could play this by bending. But it's my understanding that T-Bone, playing on a guitar with extremely heavy strings back in the, in the late 40s and 50s, would slide it instead. And what I'm doing is sliding it from the 8th fret down to the 10th fret, my ring finger. If I did it without the... And then winding up back here on the 6th fret of the 2nd string. So it's like this. And you gotta get the slide just right or else it doesn't quite sound right. Now you could play it like this. pretty sure that's the way T-Bone played it, again, because of the, the heavy strings that he had. So you hear that all the time. You can almost make an entire solo just playing that lick, and it's transferable. Any key, you go to the key of G, C, and he often combined it with something like this. And you'll hear that kind of phrase to wrap up a a verse or so. A variation of that. This is something else you could easily work into your plane. Instead of the yeah, of that lick, I'm going to add in the first string at the, at the sixth fret. So you hear something like this. Now you could play it like this. But again, I suspect that T-Bone was playing it like like that. That's just a cool lick. You could play that anywhere in a, in a solo or even as a fill lick in a song. Or something like that. So that is my T-Bone Walker lick number two. Third of my favorite T-Bone Walker licks. This one you hear a lot too, and it's basically a diminished chord. I'm going to do it in the key of G. probably heard that before. What I'm doing is really just taking a ninth chord, a first position ninth chord shape, and moving everything over a string becomes a diminished chord. G diminished. And so I've got my first finger, this is going to be in G, my first finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string, got my second finger on the fifth fret of the second string, got my ring finger on the sixth fret of the third string, and my pinky is on the 6th fret of the 1st string. Now when T-Bone used this, a lot of times he'd use it and kind of bend it, all the strings. And he'd use lots of other variations with that, but basically the leg. And he could launch into a number of his signature licks from that. And 
he liked to end his songs with that. Like sometimes you hear guys play it with two strings, like kind of the rockabilly sound, but he played it with as a chord. And you hear how much more full it sounds, how much fuller it sounds. Now you can do that anywhere. If I was playing in the key of C, B flat, you can move it just like pretty much any other any other of these licks that I'm teaching you. Another thing he liked to do with that lick is to end the song. So if the song was coming to an end, let's say a song in, in G. another T-Bone Walker lick that you can use in a solo as a fill or to end a song. You could also start a song off with that lick as he does as well. Look, these last couple that I'm going to show you are more some of the single string stuff that he does that I really like. Very simple licks. One involves the bass notes or more on the bass notes. The other one is a treble lick. Very simple, easy to learn, easy to, to work on. So let's say I'm playing in the key of B flat. This is again from a song called Strolling with Bones, which is an instrumental that he does, fantastic instrumental. And it just goes something like this. So really what I'm doing is I'm bouncing from the ninth fret of the first string to the sixth fret of the first string to the sixth fret of the second string. And I'm just keeping my first finger on both the first and second strings at the sixth fret, and then you can do a lot of different variations on that. It's one that Pee Wee Creighton and others used quite a bit. A little variation on that, you can go from... So instead of staying on the second string at the sixth fret, you can go to the... 8th fret. But usually when you hear T-Bone play it, it's something like that. But that's another lick. You can move it. Key of G. C. It's just a very simple T-Bone type lick. One last T-Bone Walker lick here. This one, I don't know what song it's from, I just know I like it, and I can't remember exactly the title, but he plays a single string run, and instead of playing on the treble strings, now normally his solos, you'll be hearing him playing on the first, the third strings, even the fourth string. Something like that. On one song, he does this little bass run. doing in the key of G. This is my first position G chord, blues box. Starting on the fifth fret of the fourth string, going up to the third fret of the third string, and sliding down to the sixth, fifth, and then playing off the fourth, third fret of the third string. So the sixth, fifth, third fret of the third string. going to the to the fifth fret of the fourth string back up to the third fret of the third string and then I'm bouncing around with my first finger anchored on the third fret of the fourth string and my ring finger bouncing between the fifth fret of the fourth string and the fifth fret of the, of the fifth string so use your second finger if you want to. So the whole thing again. And you can launch back into your... into the five chord of the song. That's the way I, I heard him play it. So in the middle of your T-bone solo... Which is kind of 
kind of cool the way he mixes the bass, bass notes there with the treble strings. There you have it. Those are five cool T-Bone Walker licks that I like to use in my playing. I don't play a lot of T-Bone Walker songs, but those are licks you can use anywhere, any style. And as we go through this series with each of the really great guitar players from, from classic blues music, 50s, 60s, even back into the 40s some, you'll hear a lot of these same licks just played in slightly different ways. And I thought it was fitting that I'd start off with T-Bone Walker since he was really one of the first great electric blues guitar players. Hope you enjoy this lesson. Hope there's stuff here you can use. Feel free to contact me anytime with questions or requests for lessons. See you later.